So Holy Spirit led me to release this word after giving me this word while I was in the shower earlier today. He spoke this very plainly to me. He just said to beware of the modern day Pharisees. We are literally dealing with modern day Pharisees. And what that means is people are operating in a Pharisee spirit. And for us to keep them in prayer, pray for their deliverance and salvation, and that this spirit is casted out of them and removed in the mighty name of Jesus. A Pharisee spirit is basically a spirit of judgmentalism, legalism, and pride, which are the attitudes that we know, um, if you look in the, the, the Gospels, that Jesus warned us about. And if you ever want to read about the Pharisees, all you have to do is find the Gospels. The Gospels are Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Go find those um, chapters in the New Testament. Get to reading and ask the Lord to give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding of what you are reading. So you know how to apply it to yourself and you know how to recognize it when you are faced with that type of spirit. Okay. Pharisee spirit basically refers to the attitudes and the behaviors exhibited by the Pharisees um, in the Bible. The Pharisees were a strict group of leaders at this time who focused on a strict adherence of the law. And instead of approaching people with compassion and love, they more focused on being self-righteous and they focused on outer appearances instead of the inner appearance. And what they should have been focusing on was genuine faith and humility before God. Jesus, as many of us know, often criticized the Pharisees for their hypocrisy and how they handle people, the way they treated people and the way they came for Jesus and his disciples and his teachings and his preachings and how he spread the gospel. He criticized that. And he tried his best to get them to focus on justice and mercy and faithfulness in um, Matthew 23 and 23, but they refused to do it. They were so self-righteous and full of themselves and pretty much thought that they were above the law. And they were also presenting themselves as living a certain type of way, but behind the scenes, they were not really good people. And even on the scenes, they were not good people. We are really living in and watching a live action television show of modern day pharisees on social media and in real life and I, I really thought at one point that social media was so great for online ministries and i'm just seeing that it's just everyone can grab a mic and everyone can hit record and just say all kinds of stuff this one is fake this one is false god didn't tell you that that ain't right and this and that and my this is this and this and, and you know what we need to learn in the body of christ is how to be quiet some of y'all don't know how to be quiet. There's a time and place to speak. God will tell you when to speak and God will tell you when to be quiet. And that voice that some of y'all are hearing is not the voice of the Lord. That's another video. There are some words that God will have you sit with for days, for months, and then he'll tell you to finally release it. Some of y'all just get a word. I got to release it immediately. Hold on. Sit with that thing for at least three days, my brother, my sister. Okay, let, let, let God marinate that thing for a little bit. So just a little bit of advice before I end this video, please don't get on these apps relying on men and women to be your Bibles, to be your ministry, to be your pastor, to be your apostle, to be your prophet, your prophetess. Stop doing that. Ask the Lord to show you the hearts of hearts and the spirit behind every person that you listen to, including myself. Okay. Get in the habit of taking every video that you come across back to God and pray. Hey, God, what is this? Who, they, this person spoke about this. Could I listen to this? Is this for me? Is this confirmation? Is this going to give me clarity? Is this from you, God? You got to ask questions, okay? Some of y'all be on these apps and y'all take everything at face value. Stop doing that. You got to protect your spirit. Ask God to strengthen your discernment. So when you feel a little unsure about something, you can always fall back on your discernment because your discernment is going to show you how to judge people righteously and properly it's going to save you from listening to a lot of people and um absorbing false words into your spirit okay all righty guys get in the habit of taking everyone you come across on these apps back to god in prayer you take me back to god in prayer to say show me shalina's heart show me her spirit what spirit is truly operating in that woman who makes these videos show show me her spirit father show me her heart and if it don't agree with your spirit block scroll remove and you do what you got to do whatever the case may be but i love y'all god bless y'all and as always i will see y'all in my next video <laughs>